Hello. <laughs> I'm about to head to England. And I just woke up from a nap. And I feel like I'm in a different dimension. So it probably wasn't a good idea to nap before I go get on my flight to England. But you know what? It's done now. Um, so I'm packed, getting ready for England. I want to check in with you guys. How are ya? What's the vibe? How am I? I'm good. How are you? Hey. Me too. Right, Michelle? I I don't know why. I was like, I'll just have a quick nap. It was stupid. I feel so, like, heavy. If you can't tell. And now I have to go get on a plane. So it's not good. Hi, Sydney. I live in England. I'll see you join me in a group call. Much. Oh, hi. Good times. The tea party. Where are you from in England? Naps forever. Sometimes. Here's the thing. Naps are a real gamble. Because sometimes you wake up from a nap and you're like, I'm ready to take on the world. And sometimes you wake up from a nap and you feel like I feel right now. And you're like, why did I do that to myself? And now I have to go travel. Hey. Hi. YOLO. True that. I live in England. Do you? I don't live in England, but I'm going there. Have why? I don't know what that means. Hey. What are you going to do in England? I'm going to film. Um, I'm going to be in England for about a week, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I'm filming um, the TV show I've been filming for the last few months, or mini series, I suppose, um, called Departure. Uh, it's Christopher Plummer and Arch Punjabi's new little miniseries, and we're just wrapping it up right now, kind of. We're near the tail end of it, and uh, it's supposed to take place in England, um, so we're heading to England to film the last little piece of it and film all the, like, outside stuff and things that take place on, like, London streets that you can't really film anywhere else. Um, so that's gonna be really fun. I am super excited. I have an overnight flight tonight. Um, and then I have a few days to kind of like explore London and hang out and get to see the cast and the director and everything and then um, film and then come back to Toronto. You look tired though. I am tired and I just had a nap and then I have to go get on a plane to England. But that's okay. You know what? We thriving. We surviving. It's okay. It's only Tuesday. There's so much of the week left. We gotta get ourselves back on track, you know? That's what I'm doing. I'm awake now. It's fine. I'm packed. It's okay. I'm gonna have a coffee before I go. Welcome to Shadow Hunters family. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Did someone someone just said bras? Don't know what that means. But true that. There's a lot of exclamation points, too. <laughs> Big hug from Chile. Hi. Hugs. And as soon as I switched on, I panicked because I thought you were crying. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I logged on to Instagram Live just to cry? I was like, I'm not happy. I want to be supported. <laughs> no. I'm good. I'm very happy. I am very excited to go to England. Hi from France. Hi. Venezuela. Hello. I'm so excited to see Helen. Me too. I'm really excited for you guys to see all of 3B, quite frankly, um, and to meet Helen. And I, I am very excited to hear your reactions. You guys are like nuts. The whole... Everything you guys have done, all the original posters and like everything you guys have done for for three B has been amazing. So I'm I'm really excited to see your reactions to it when it comes out. 
We're supposed to be getting snow soon here, apparently. Shut up. In England? I did not pack a really for that. I was really hoping it was going to be warmer than it is here in Toronto, so I guess if it snows, I'm kind of screwed. Ugh. I live in Cheshire, England. Like the Cheshire Cat? That's a real place? Where? What? What part of what? Sorry, this is me being so ignorant. I live in Cheshire, England? Wow. This makes Alice in Wonderland a whole new thing for me right now. Where? What part? Is that? You're going to have to tell me north, south, east. What's the sitch there? Cheshire. Hi, I have a terrible cramps right now, so thanks for the distraction. I'm sorry. I was with my friend last night, and she had terrible cramps. So you're synced up with one of my besties. That's all I can say. Put a hot water bottle on. Eat some chocolate. Watch some good TV. Binge something. You nap because you're living your best life. Don't forget. True that. I am. 2019. Living your best life. That's what's up. How are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. I... <laughs> You guys know the Lizzo song, Good As Hell? That's like my vibe for 2019. And I listen to it all the time. I'll like listen to it in the morning and be like, Ooh, how you doing? But doing good as hell. So like whenever someone asks like, How you doing? How you doing, girl? Or like when I read, like, How are you doing? And people, are, I'm sure, are being serious. But in my head, all can hear is like, How you doing, girl? And then in my head, I'm like, I'm doing good as hell. Because that's the only appropriate response now. The only appropriate response for 2019 is, I'm doing good as hell. You know? And that should be for you, too. Anyways, that was why I just l laughed at myself when you asked me how I'm doing. I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hi from Romania. Hi. Croatia, hello. Where are you visiting in the UK? We're just... Uh, we're filming in London. We're filming, like, I actually don't know if I'm allowed to say that. But, um, yeah, we're filming in London. Um, but I think I'm taking a day trip to Bath because last time I was in England, we were in Bath. But we were only there for, like, a couple hours and I really loved it. So I think I'm going to go back and check it out a little bit more. Um, I might do another day trip. I don't know. I've got a couple days. But we're I'm primarily in London. I'm mostly in London. You're in Scotland. I want to go to Scotland, too. I've heard really good things. Turkey. Hi, Turkey. I love your outfit. Thank you. This is my new thing. These are, like, comfy, like, soft overalls. My brother's girlfriend got them for me for Christmas, and they're super comfy, and I'm obsessed with them. And so I'm like, what am I going to fly in? My comfy overalls. That's what's up. This is my flying outfit. What was it like playing Helen on Shadowhunters? It was amazing. It was really exciting. It was a little nerve-wracking at first because um, I felt a lot of responsibility around it. I knew it was, you know, obviously such an iconic character from the books and I'd read the books and I thought Helen was amazing. So when I got cast as Helen, I was kind of like so excited but also like surprised and I, and I felt um, a little bit of pressure at first. But it's such a, you know, a warm set and a welcoming cast and I had known them for years and it was just so fun to get to explore that character and I do relate to her a lot. So it was, it was amazing. It was a dream. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, it was bittersweet because, you know, I was there in the midst of it, you know, being canceled and how, coming back for the, you know, finale and, and all of that. Um, but I'm so glad that I got to be a part of the story and that, you know, they got to bring Helen to life before all of that. So, I, yeah, I'm really, really thankful that it was an amazing experience. I do remember the murder mystery. And uh, I solved the murder mystery, guys. So, thank you. You were very helpful. I solved that. For anyone who watched that update on my Instagram story about the murder mystery over Christmas break, I solved it. My mother was the murderer. And I solved it. I knew she murdered him. You're obsessed with even. Oh, thank you. I wrote that a long time ago. I forgot it existed. <laughs> Come and visit the Roman baths. I want to. I'm going to. I'm taking a day trip. I'm going to do that. 
Have you ever been to Italy? I have. Uh, Italy was my favorite trip I ever did. Tuscany is like maybe my favorite place ever. Um, I want to go back. I haven't been since I was young. I went when I was maybe 10. Uh, but it's to this day my favorite trip I've ever taken in my entire life. And I want to go back to Italy for sure, for sure, for sure. How are you? Good. Hello, hello. Scotland. I want to go to Scotland. Hi. Hi, France. At least you can sleep on a plane. Oh, sweetie, that's the plan. I brought eye cover. I brought, like, just drugs to knock me out. Neck pillow. I'm set. I'm going to sleep on the plane. Come to France. Normandy. Maybe. This is my first time visiting England. No. Um, I am a citizen of England. So I've been before. Um, I haven't been in a while. So it's going to be nice to go back. And it's the first time that I've gone kind of like... Well, not by myself, because I'm going to production, obviously, but, like, as an adult where I, I'm making my own choices about what to do with my days. Um, before, I've always gone with my family, and it's been very much, like, a, a family trip. And so this is the first time that I'm getting to see the things that I would make a priority to see for myself. So that's kind of nice and cool and exciting. Very excited for Shadowhunters to return. Has there been a premiere date for V Wars? Not yet. Um, they just say spring of 2019. We don't have an, exa an exact release date yet. Favorite thing about Helen? Um, how complex and how well-rounded she is. Um, she's, she doesn't feel the need to put herself in a box. And I think that's amazing. And I think it's a really good example for women and men for everybody everywhere I think it's a great example to just be who you are you don't need to pick like one facet of your personality and say this is what I am she's everything you know she's badass and she's funny and she's loving and she's empathetic and she's a family woman and she's um a nerdy science girl and she's bisexual and she's a downworlder and she's a shadow hunter and she's everything like she's absolutely amazing and she she does not box herself in and i think that's amazing it's something to really like look up to get ready for freezing british weather oh sweetie it's freezing in canada i was hoping it was gonna at least be like a couple degrees warmer the day that i was packing which was like yesterday i was googling and it said it was at least a little bit warmer i guess i think i got brave now you guys are all saying like it's really cold in england and i'm concerned about what i packed because i, I did not pack for it to be freezing How much do I love Haleen? So much! And I think you guys are going to love Haleen. I'm really excited for you to see them. They're the sweetest couple. You're my favorite character in 3B. I can't wait to see you. Aw, oh, thank you! I'm so excited for you guys to see it. And I appreciate you guys being so, like, responsive and supportive, even though you haven't seen it yet. Having, uh, having faith um, that I'll do Helen justice is, uh, it means a lot to me. Can I give a little spoiler? Y'all... You know I have loose lips. I'm going to try and keep my mouth shut. Do you love tea? Because England loves tea. I do love tea. All types of tea. Uh, ah, uh, hello, hello. What's my favorite song at the moment? This is a really hard question. It's a really hard question. Um, because I have this, like, playlist of obnoxiously upbeat, like, feel-good songs that I listen to when I'm at the gym with Nuno, um, to, like, get me through the workout that are just feel-good songs, and I love that playlist, and I think it's hilarious, and we have a good time dancing, um, but I don't know, then I, when I come home, I'm, like, if I'm cleaning the apartment, I, I've been listening to, like, Billy Joel's album, The Stranger, maybe more than any other album right now, but that's tough. It switches a lot. It switches a lot. My favorite band is Mariana's Trench. Um, that's, like, a consistent through line for me, but it changes. It depends what mood I'm in, really. Music is, like, a very emotional thing for me, so it depends how I'm feeling, what, what, what I want to put on. I love you, Michelle! Show us your British accent. All right. I mean, this is as good as it gets. It's not really that good, but... I did. You know, it's funny. Is like I used to think my British accent was really good, and then today, this morning, I got a phone call really early, and I picked it up, and it was this British man, like, 
It's really sweet sounding British memory. Like, are you in England? Are you here? I'm your driver. I'm here to pick you up. And I was like, oh no, I don't get there till tomorrow. And it was a big mistake. But he was so cheering his British accent, just put a smile on my face. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't sound like that. I definitely don't sound like that. I thought I sounded British, but I do not sound like him. So there's that. I learned that this morning. That was a rude awakening. I don't sound like that man. He would laugh at me, I'm sure. I'll try it tomorrow when I meet him. Mexico loves you. Hi, Mexico. I love you. It's my favorite episode of 3B. The finale. It's great. It's my favorite movie, Garden State. Uh, and White Oleander and Hard Candy. Y'all are scaring me with this. It's so cold in the UK. Hey! Can y'all be positive and make it a little warmer? What is this? I'm coming for a vacay. Hey. In all caps, England never has hot weather, only in August. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Well, I packed an umbrella, so, uh... Guess that's great. Can you speak a bit of French? Sweetie. I would offend you. I have said this so many times. I have no other skills. I can't speak any other languages. Je, je, ne, je ne parle pas français. I can't. I don't know. Je dors. Je t'aime. Je suis désolé. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't speak French. Yay. You have a crush on Ian? I'm gonna assume you're mean Ian Summerholder. Good choice. I, I don't know. He's a responsible choice for a crush. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. He's a good he's a good dude. He's handsome. He's talented. He's wonderful. I mean he's married with a child, but besides that, great choice for a crush. Your taste in men is is great. So I would keep good right track, you know what I mean? You're not at chasing bad boys, which is good. That's great. Have you seen the fan made character videos, trailers, fan made for three B? I haven't seen videos. I've seen some of the like posters and stuff on Twitter, but I haven't seen videos. But I will check them out. Everything I've seen has been amazing, so I'm excited. Do you love cream treaties? No. That's disgusting. I don't. That was really detrimental. But no, I don't. I'm not into that. I don't like I take no. No. I don't want it creamy. I don't want my tea creamy. What books did you save for your trip? Okay, so I was having a Twitter crisis about what books to pack. Um, and after all that, <laughs> I packed six books. I'm gone for a week and I packed six books. So I didn't do a good job narrowing it down. So I packed, um, Plato's The Republic. I packed, uh, a book called The Road to Jonestown, which is about the Jonestown cult. Uh, I packed two Norman Mailer books, one that I'm like, the, is the one I'm reading right now. I'm in the middle of reading called Tough Guys Don't Dance and another one called An American Dream, which are like very similar theme th thematically, I guess, which is I wanted to read them together. And then I picked, packed the two that I always, I always take traveling with me. I always reread them when I travel, which is Dermaphoria and The Contortionist Handbook because they're two of my favorite books of all time. Um, I live in the Midlands in England and it's freezing. Great. I'm scared. <laughs> I was having so much hope and positivity for the weather in England. You guys just shot this down. Someone asked me to go I'm not the only one. <laughs> Michelle, your love is spreading. You're a contagious baby. Hey, pal. Hey, Josh. How are you, dear? How have you been? How is everything? The weather's supposed to plummet here in Scotland with the snow. Oh my god, guys. It's so cold, I have an electric blanket and three other blankets. I <laughs> this entire thread is just how cold it is in England. I'm going to be very disappointed when I get there. Is there any cat in Sydney selfies we don't know about? Yeah, but I can't post them because they're on set and they're spoilers. And I already get in trouble enough for saying things I shouldn't say.
That's the song that Todd posted Anna and Harry dance to. Is it? Wow, that was a really over. I, that was a huge overreaction. Is it really? Because that's phenomenal. That song is a vibe and a half, and that makes that whole thing. I didn't know about that song back then, but that makes that whole video I'm gold even more. I have to go back and look at it. Twenty by Dean. I see this everywhere. You guys are hilarious. What's your favorite thing about Halloween? I already answered that. already answered that. Do you have a favorite character in you? <laughs> oh god. I can't answer that because you guys are going to think I'm nuts. Okay. Obviously, Joe's a ser Joe is a serial killer. Okay? He's not a good person. I need to say that up front. I'm aware. Joe is a serial killer. He's not a good person. But we need to step outside the bounds of like reality for a sec and just look at it as like I think the show's hilarious. I think... <laughs> I think Joe's inner monologues are hilarious. Like, in the first episode, when he's outside um, Beck's apartment, and he's stalking her and being an insane person, and he, like, watches Benji go into the apartment, and his commentary on Benji when he finds Benji on social media, and he's, like, judging Benji, and then he's sitting in the bar, and judging Beck's friends like the inner commentary is hilarious and I think it's kind of funny because like honestly it's commentary on our society and like our need for validation over social media and a lot of things is actually very true but it's like gets completely you can't take it seriously because it's like well you're a murderer so if you're the most moral person in the story then we're all screwed but I think it's hilarious and brilliant and so well written and uh, I think Penn Bagley did such an amazing job in it and the show is terrifying and amazing and smart and weird and I think it's so good. I loved I loved that. I loved it. I thought it was interesting. I'm going to rewatch it again because my gut reaction to so much of it was just like wow, that's hilarious, which I probably is not the appropriate reaction. But I just thought the writing was so brilliant and like his, his delivery was so brilliant that I just thought it was funny. Not that he's murdering people or stalking someone, obviously that's terrible, but like some, like the little quips in his internal monologue. And obviously like how he's such a hypocrite. I think it's hilarious. Whatever. Okay. Oh my god, I live 20 minutes from bath. Do you really? Come to bath. Show me the baths. I don't know what that means. Can you come to my school? I live three hours from London. Probably not. I'm going to be real with you. I probably, I'm not adept enough at travel in, in England to get to your school safely. Send kiss to Brazil. Okay, kiss to Brazil. Hi, Italy. Yes, I have been in Italy. I love Italy. I love you. There's a lot of cats going on down here. Is it difficult to go pee in the overalls? No, because they're soft overalls, y'all. That's why they're better than normal overalls. Can't wait to see you on video wars. Thank you. I'm excited. If not, Helen, um, what character from Shadowhunters would you want to play? Maya. She's my favorite. My favorite fictional character? That's a really good question. Ooh, I don't know. Like from books and from movies? And TV? Oh, that's hard. That's really hard. I can't answer that. I need to think on that. That's a good question, though. <laughs> Pan <laughs> Don't know what that is. But if I get invited, I'll go. I'll go. I don't know. Hi, Derek. Happy New Year, love. How are you? It's so good to see your little face pop up on my thing. What was it like working with Kat? It was great. I love Kat. I know I knew Kat from before Shadow Hunters, um, and obviously working T-Boys for a few years. And I adore Kat. I think she's 
such a remarkable woman and so talented and hardworking and just it, like such a wonderful human all around. Um, so getting to like watch her work firsthand and watch her lead a show and um, grow over the years, it, it was amazing. And working with her was wonderful. I mean, she's 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 so talented. Hey, Maria. Yes, I did read the books. I read the books before I got cast as Helen. Um, I read the books when I was doing the table reads because I just wanted to be informed about what I was, you know, doing. I worked there every week, so I wanted to know. Uh, and then, yeah, I got Helen. Hi, Lulu. Malik or Clay's Malik. I brought you. <laughs> you take that out of context, though. Don't post things like that out of context. I hope you pass face max. Duh. Wow, I can't even read that sentence. She said, I hope you packed face masks, too. Duh, I did, yes. Hi, Lulu. Hi from your house. Dope. Would you consider hanging out with some fans in London if you had any time? Totally cool if you could. Yeah, I've got days there where I don't know what I'm doing. So if anyone wants to come show me around, hit me up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Do you see similarities between me and Helen? Yeah, I do. That's why I was so excited to play Helen. I grew up in a very academic-based family and loved science. Um, and it was hard for me to pick acting over science because it felt like I had to like, let that side of me die. And then I realized you don't. You can explore a lot of different sides of you. And I feel like I'm like her because I, I'm very... I'm a lot of contradictions in one. I'm, I'm kind of a mess of like masculine and feminine and, you know nerdy and artistic and creative and all these different things and I struggled with it for a long time because I thought I had to be one thing and I had to fit into a mold and I realized I didn't um and so I really love that about Helen and so I I do relate to her in a lot of ways um I think she was more settled in herself at a, at a younger age than I was she figured that out quicker um so I have respect for her for that but you know, yeah, absolutely, I relate to her a lot of ways. Hey, Portugal, hi. Hi, Finland. Do I like Ian? Yeah, Ian's wonderful. He's an amazing man. Um, I learned so, so much from him, and he was so kind and generous with his time and gracious to everybody on set and just I mean absolutely wonderful to work with and he was so lovely like he you know when he was directing he let me follow him around for days and learn and watch and he's just so amazing and generous and wonderful he's great <clears throat> Do you like Ian and Nikki? Yes, I do. They're a beautiful couple. They're wonderful together. Have you watched The Vampire Diaries? I had never seen it before, and then I got cast on yours, and I watched, like, the first half of maybe season one, just to kind of get an idea of it, to in case it came up, basically. <laughs> But I, I haven't really seen it, no. I, I couldn't probably hold my my own in a conversation about it. Go to Borough Market? That's what I've heard! I'm so excited. I'm gonna go to Borough Market. Rep Jersey, but hard candy? A bit dark. This person is judging my movie choices. <laughs> yeah, hard candy is a very dark film, and it's brilliant, and I like dark things. Okay? I think we all need to embrace our dark side a little bit. 
Hard Candy is a beautiful film, brilliantly acted, um, and it's very thought provoking, which I love. Yes, it is dark. I wouldn't recommend watching it if you're young, but yes, it is one of my favorite films, and it's one of my favorite performances by an actress. So judge all you want, whatever your screen name is. It's a great film. Bring a coat with you. I got a coat. I got a coat. I got like earmuffs. I got everything. Random question. What means 48 in your username? Nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I just ate my lucky number. And I think City Meyer 8 was taken. City Meyer was taken. City Meyer 8 was taken. <laughs> so I did 48 because 4 is half of 8. You know? I think that's how it happened. Favorite book ever? That's a really hard question. Um, the Contortionist Handbook is one of my favorite books ever. Invisible Monsters by Jeff Palahniuk. Um, Tender is the Night by Fitzgerald. Oh, I don't know. I've got a lot. I can't answer that. That's really hard. Have you read the book, What If It's Us? It's so good. I haven't, but I'll add it to my list. I love your dance video during my good session. Thank you. I um don't know how people work out without dancing, quite frankly, because working out sucks. People who like working out, I don't understand. I don't really like it that much, um, but I have to do it for my health. And so Nuno is the best, and I have a fun time with him, and we just put on a fun playlist and have a good time. So, I like to have a good time at the gym, if I can. Six books, it takes me a year to read one book. I'm a quick re I am a quick reader. And when I travel, I read a lot. Or did I want to work with more? Javier. Um, Jack. It would have been nice to work with Jack. There's a lot of people I didn't really get to work with that I would have loved to, but there just wasn't really the time, and it didn't make sense, obviously. It, it, you can't really, like, entwine storylines that don't need to be entwined. Um, so there's a lot of people I would have loved to have the chance to work with, but I didn't really get to. Unfortunately. So many people say Joe loves Beck, but that isn't love. He's a stalker. He is a stalker. I, here's the thing. I struggle with that. We all have our own definitions of love, right? Like, it's not healthy, for sure. That's not something we should aspire to. But we also shouldn't aspire to the kind of love that Romeo and Juliet had. That's not healthy either. Like, it's not... It's not romantic. It's not sustainable. It's not healthy. It's not anything good. Um, but, you know, you look in his past and, like, I, I think that is how he probably understands love. The only redeeming thing I can say for him in terms of, like, him loving her is that he only... Spoiler alert. He only kills people that he truly thinks are bad for her. Like, the friends that aren't maybe great, but he doesn't think are bad, like, detrimental to her. He doesn't hurt them. Like, he truly, in his own twisted, sick brain, like, thinks he's doing things to help her for the betterment of her because, to him, he loves her. You know what I mean? Like, I think that is his understanding of love, which isn't correct, but he was raised in a, you know, unhealthy home environment and was abused and whatever. I think we'll probably learn more of his storyline in season two. Um, and I, I, I don't really know what else he's capable of knowing. You know what I mean? Like, look at his relationship with Paco. He's actually quite gentle with Paco and quite kind with him. 
So that's where you get a little like, ooh, would you? No, I agree. That's not love that anyone should aspire to or want or romanticize. No one should watch that and be like, ah, oh, Joe, huh? only I can find a man like that. No, don't don't date someone like that. That's not cool. That's not what you want. Do I recommend you? Yes, I do. You are so crazy. I can't get into it. You're probably more sane than I am then. Am I in London yet? Do you like it? I am not in London yet. My plane leaves at like midnight tonight. I get there tomorrow morning. But I do like London. I've been there before. I love when Joe helps Paco, but also from Marie's Killer and Stockel. Yeah, that's the thing. Shades, right? You know, they built a three-dimensional character, which I have to applaud. He is not just some crazy dude. He, I mean, he is crazy, <laughs> clearly. But he's, there's, you see these different sides of him and his reasoning, and so you're a little bit torn. Hilarious, perhaps in the serial killer humor. I do. I'm also like obsessed with serial killers. I read a lot about serial killers. I'm fascinated by the way that mind works. Also, I don't think like him kill. I have to clarify. I don't think him killing people is funny. That's not funny. Him killing people isn't funny. But like his inner monologue when he's judging people is hilarious. Like watch the first episode. When he's watching Beck through the window and he's like all in love with her and then Benji comes in and he's like, hey Beck, who's that? And then he finds Benji on Facebook and it's Benji the third or whatever and the way he goes, Benji whatever the third, ah, there's three of them and he's like judging the soda name. That's hilarious. You can't tell me that's not hilarious. That was hilarious. He delivered it like old. Whatever. Maybe I just think it's funny. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Wish me luck, I pee tomorrow, I'm not prepared. Just dance in your head. Put on music in your head. Good luck, you got it. Dance it out. Nice Mandela's, baby. Sammy! These Mandela's on my wall. My beautiful friend, Samantha Schroeder, um, made, drew. She's so talented. And then she made me these ones blank and I colored them in because I have no artistic ability. Um, but I love Mandela's. So, check out Sam Schroeds on Instagram. She makes amazing Mandela's if you're into them. I'm into them. These are hers. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Can you please say, ooh, guys, that's a tough one. Be sweet et je trim for Shadow Fam from France. Be, be sweet, be sweet, et je t'aime. Be sweet, et je t'aime. I'm sorry, I don't know. Why did it bleep what you said? Did I just get censored? Did Instagram just live censor me cursing? Can't tell you. Am I still in contact with the cast? Yes, I am. I'm going to LA in February. Um, so I'm going to try my best to see everyone, hopefully. I've talked to like Alicia and Luke and Kat and Dom and, and hopefully um, I get to see some of them while I'm in Nelly, so. Hi Germany. Did I take any props home? I was way too afraid. <laughs> I took my chair back um, and then I took like my jewelry that I wore on the last day and Bri, let me take some um, runes. I have a lot of runes that I stole from the makeup trailer that he let me take and like some of my makeup um, that I wore. But I, I was really f afraid, frankly, to take things home. Hi, hi. I can't answer that. Can I answer that? Climbing, it's a fun way to work out. I actually heard that. I'm into that. I'm, I'm, I want to get there to shop. I, they think there's a couple of them where you like rock climbing gyms. <laughs> whoa, 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 you don't really like working out? Literally, never, I guess. Um, no, I don't. I think it's boring. 
I mean, I have fun with Nuno. I have a really good time with Nuno. But, like, what if I, like, days that I don't go to Nuno's gym and I'm supposed to work out at home, like, why would I want to do that? When I, mean, I could be doing literally anything else, you know? So I have to put on music and make it fun. Um, because I, it's, yeah, it's very important for my health that I do that. So I just do it. You got to make it fun, you know? Have a good time. You gotta have fun in whatever you do. 100%. Do you write? Yes, I do. What did you feel when you walked in on set to shoot your first scene? Um, it was actually kind of weird because my first scene was not on the, like normal set like they have a they have a studio which is where most of shadow hunters is shot um and there's like the key sets there and my first day on shadow hunters my first scene was not there we were somewhere else <laughs> um and so it was kind of weird it was like very but also kind of nice because it, it it was new it was brand new um and it was like a fresh, uh, fresh start and um, very surreal, but so much fun. And my very first scene I shot was with Alberto and he was uh, amazing and so supportive and made me feel so at home because um, I was terrified. Um, and I think he could, <laughs> could tell that, but he was amazing and patient and so supportive and like the best scene partner I ever could have asked for. And I'm eternally grateful that my first date was with Alberto. My first scene was with Alberto. Hi, Poland. Love your background. Thank you. It's Mandela's. And then this is like my photo wall. It's all my little Polaroids and stuff from set. Hola. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Took the whole chair, just the flyer. I just, I just took the, the flyer that says Shadowhunter's my name, not the whole chair. Um, no. Just the back. TJ! <laughs> Hi! See you so soon! I'm about to get on a plane and come to you! How's England, TJ? Honestly, aren't you on set right now? What time is it in England? Guys, I can't answer that. Stop asking me things I can't answer. How many what do I have in total? Me and Chris are watching. Hi, Chris. Hi, TJ. How are you guys? Are you guys on set right now? Do some work. Cheeky boys. My, um, one of my favorite directors ever is on this live right now. And he's the one I'm going to London to work with, TJ Scott. Um, I worked with him on the awards and now I'm working with him on Departed and I he's supposed to be filming apparently he's on Instagram I'll be watching Simon the entire time to see your entrance I think you'll see me before Simon is that true I don't know Maybe that's not true. It's weird. It's weird. How you meet me is weird. You'll see. 11 p.m. Oh. Are you guys done? Are you still on set? Damn. Or are you just partying at TJ's house? Do you have a favorite rune? I don't know. The love rune? I don't know what half of them do, I'm not going to lie to you. There's so many that when I went in the makeup trailer, I was shocked at how many there are. I don't know them all. 
It's 11.10 p.m. in England, this person says. Is it just past 11 p.m. in London to answer your question? <laughs> There's a lot of y'all from London in here. Tea something about Helene. Uh, tea something. I think you're gonna like the way they start. Because it's, uh, I can't say that. But I think you're gonna like the way that we start, the way we meet, and the way our romance kind of kicks off. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Um, it's a little bit cheeky. I enjoyed that scene a lot. I enjoyed the scene where we first met filming that a lot. That was one of my favorite scenes of all of 3B. Wrapped and drinking and watching Beautiful You. <laughs> we wrapped on time. <laughs> Look at you, crushing it over in England, wrapping on time and everything. God, 11 p.m. and you're wrapped? Where was this when I was on set, TJ? Okay, well, y'all better have this party going tomorrow when I get there. Am I in 311? Ooh, I can't answer that. But go on the internet. The answer's on the internet. There's all these things that, like, apparently I'm not allowed to answer, but if you just go on the internet, the answer's there. So I can't answer that, but the internet knows the answer. To if I'm in 311 or not. How much scream time? I can't answer that. I can't answer that. <laughs> So unprofessional. <laughs> TJ. TJ, I can't swear on these lives. This is like, this is the Shadowhunters people. This is like a PG audience. I can't say these things <laughs> on the live. But I will. I'm on my way. The driver's coming to get me in like an hour. And then I'm on my plane over to you. So we're going to hang out. We are at the party house. <laughs> of course you are. Which looks amazing. I'm excited to be there. I want the copper tub. I'm claiming the copper tub, okay? I want right now post-it note. That's mine. That belongs to me. Deal? Oh, I can't answer that. I can't. The best way, the way they start, is it a flashback? Can't answer that. But there, there's a scene where we. The flame starts. I can't even. I don't know what to say without ruining it. Um, there's a scene where we meet, basically, kind of. And it's lovely and super cheeky. And um, it was one of my favorite things to film. It's, it's like quick, but it's, it's, you're like, oh, something's brewing there. 40 days, I think, till Shadow is back. I love that you guys have a countdown. I bet I did too. Were you guys on the plane this whole time? Are you in a studio right now? Where are you? What is happening? DJ, <laughs> send me secrets. Text me secrets. I want screenshots of what you guys are doing. Which one is your favorite? Guys, I don't know what to do. Also, probably I would abuse them if I had <laughs> the ability to use them in real life, so I don't want to mess with them. Would they flirt or something? Like Malik season one? Hey, Lean. Um, can't answer that? I don't know. The scene where we first interact. I don't know what I'm allowed to say about that scene. I don't know. I don't know. It's not what you think it's going to be, but it's amazing. It's great. And I think it's a great way to introduce them and their... Thing, whatever, whatever, and what is gonna happen? Or <sighs> I'm so bad. I don't know what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say. And I just want to tell you guys things because I feel like you already know everything, anyways. But then I don't want to get in trouble, you know. 
So then here I am, stuttering. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Fiona, for laughing at me. This is great. I appreciate your support. You're such a Dakota Fanning stan. <laughs> Have you met her? No, I haven't met Dakota Fanning. I'm obsessed with, like, baby Dakota. Like, Uptown Girls Dakota. She did a TV, like, a TV series called Taken or whatever when she was, like, a little munchkin. Um, I am Sam. Like, baby Dakota. That's where it's at. You're right. I do stand, baby Dakota. Those gifts you send me on Twitter... They make my day. I'm obsessed. We wrap at 7 p.m. every day. What? You guys wrap at 7 p.m. every day? How is that possible? So you guys are out partying every single night. Wow. Damn. London's lit. That's where it's at, man. D <laughs> Teach. Love you, man. You're gonna get me in trouble. Just swear. I think we've said a lot worse on Twitter. Now you're getting them to say I can swear. Look what you've done. Most of the need peachy. Now they're saying I can swear, so that's fine. Clace or Malik, there's no escaping. You have to answer in all caps. Malik, I've answered this a million times already. Do I have any pets? I had a dog. I had a multi poo named Buster Casey. Mr. Casey, but he died like a month ago. So thanks for bringing that up. I'm just kidding. Um, no, so not anymore. We always swear, especially at Reform. That's true. You guys are vicious at Reform. Like real vicious. Like I'm afraid to get on your bad side because I've seen the way you talk to Reform and I'm scared. I don't want to be on the receiving end of that. I don't have a strong enough constitution. My ego is fragile. Shadowhunter's baby shark video. I have no idea what that means, y'all. We're gonna die. Okay. It's a little dark. I'm hoping that's in reference to something, but I don't know what. Favorite male character from Shadowhunters? Simon. I can't answer that. Maybe the lover is not marriage. I don't know. Is it? I don't know the rules. I mean, all the rules are made up, but I don't know them. We love you and can't wait to see you. Big love from TJ. I guess Chris here. <laughs> love you guys. I can't wait to see you. I'm so excited to hang out in London with you. I hope you guys are having a good night. I mean, I hope your night gets better. If all you're doing is watching my Instagram live, it must be dull as shit. Go do something more fun. And you don't stud it. Chris, you're drunk, babe. You're drunk. I love you, boo-boo, but TJ was typing much better than you were. Why did you read my question if you're not going to answer? I'm going to cry. It's a joke. I love you. Wait, what did I read and not answer? I'm confused. Probably just because I'm stupid, honestly. Don't get offended. I'm like a squirrel, you know? What time did you rap? Never. We'd be out in the cold in the middle of the night, but that's my fault. I broke a phone on this set. We were out on a... <laughs> we were out in an airplane hangar in Waterloo, maybe? And I broke a phone, so we had to get a new phone. Like, it's my fault. Frankly, if I'm on set, we're not going to wrap on time because I'm a problem. I can't do, I'm not good at my job, frankly. Um, I 
So that's the answer. I don't know. They have professionals on set right now, so they're rapping on time. But when I'm on set, we don't rap on time. Because I'm, I'm a hot mess, you know? We'll send you more Dakota gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. How was working with Harry? Amazing. I'm obsessed with Harry. Harry would give me life advice, and I was like, "Yes, Guru, thank you." He's very wise. He's very. He's very. I don't know how to explain Harry. Harry's like the calmest, wisest. It's like he has like a thousand years of knowledge stored in his mind, and he'll just like, one day decide to drop it on you. So you better be ready. You know. Like at the rap party, all of a sudden we just had this chat where I was like, oh, I just learned everything I've ever wanted to know about my industry. Cool. Thanks, Harry. You're a doll. He's just the kindest person ever. He's great. And he's funny and he's smart and he's talented and he's humble and I'm obsessed with him. TJ and I will be your pets. <laughs> that seems like a lot of work. Cleaning up after you two? I don't know about that. I mean, probably more fun, but... A lot of work. What do you think about Rep 2 or Netflix? I haven't seen it. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> Chris. TJ. You're about to, I'm about to put you on a leash. Jesus. Y'all are about to get me in trouble on the internet here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die because Helene will be too cute. Yeah, probably. We're pretty adorable, honestly. We're here to steal hearts. Would you come back as Helen if we got you guys a season four? Yeah. I mean. I'd be mad if someone else came back as Helen. I mean, not mad, but like, I, that, I, I love her. I would want to be Helen. There, there's a season four. What's your favorite thing about playing Helen? I answered that. Nope, doesn't get better. <laughs> Do you think Shadowhunters can be saved? Um, I don't know. I'm torn on this. I mean, I think we all know Freeform isn't going to save it at this point. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I think anything's possible. Maybe, you know, a film or another network would... But it's also hard because I feel like the way we filmed it was to wrap it up. Like, we did a, we did a finale to try and wrap up the storyline. So now if you... If it gets saved, it's like it's going to be kind of backtracking to try and keep the story going. You know what I mean? So I feel like, yes. Yes. But the logistics of it are, I don't know. I don't frankly know. <laughs> Favorite song between Who Lives, Who Does, Who Tells Your Story, or Dia 3 Doja. Doja. It's amazing. But I'm obsessed with Hamilton. You guys know that. Who's the funniest person on the cast? Isaiah, maybe? <laughs> I say that like no one's funny. They are. They're all really... They're just very different. They have different senses of humor. I think maybe I think I think Isaiah is really funny, so probably I, I mine would be Isaiah, but I think that's probably not what the answer most people would give. What am I drinking? I'm drinking some Italian soda. I don't know. It's from the store down the street from my house. Everything's like empty in my apartment because I'm packed and going to England, so I have nothing here. So I went to this little. 
Italian place across the street and got my dinner. Do you know if you'll be able to tweet? Okay, so I'm in Canada, so I don't, I can't watch it live. Um, but I'll be in LA for the first few episodes, so I'll try and watch those ones live and live tweet. And then I think when I come back to Canada, I might do like the next day for the people who aren't in America, like watch it on Netflix and tweet something. I don't know. I don't know. Bye, Chris. Bye, TJ. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have I ever pranked someone I've been pranked? Yes. I used to prank a lot when I was a teenager. I thought it was hilarious. I, apparently, I don't know. I was a teenage boy. It's counting down 20 seconds. There's so many more questions. I'm not going to be able to answer them all. I love you guys. Thanks for saying hi. I have to go get ready for my flight. So, bye. Have a good night, lovely people. I'll see you when I'm in England.